Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello and welcome to Ranger Rob. And today I'd like to talk to you and have a discussion about how you listen to music, how you listen to podcasts and how you listen to radio shows. Um, yeah. And I thought I'd share with you a little bit of what I do around our house, but in the comments, what I really am looking forward to is, is here's the questions. And then, uh, uh, you can add comments to this video anytime you want. <clears throat> so the questions are going to be, how do you listen to music? at your house. How do you listen to an album? Now, remember I'm kind of old school. So I came from the days when we had the giant speakers in our living room and we had this, uh, different decks of tuners and players and all that stuff. And of course, all of that's changed. So the question is, how do you listen to music at home? How do you listen to music with friends or a party at the house? How do you listen to music when you're outside? How do you listen to music? And, uh, this will go for podcasts and radio shows too, in your car. And, and how do you listen to music when you travel? The same questions will be, how do you listen to a podcast and how do you listen to, uh, internet radio stations? And do you still listen to, um, just good old fashioned, uh, radio shows, uh, AM FM kind of, sh uh, music. So, uh, uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is show you a clip I put together showing you how we listen to music in our home. And you might laugh and say, oh, that's crazy. I can't believe it, but we utilize echo. And so here's a little clip for that. Hey guys, Ranger Rob here. I'm going to talk kind of fast cause I don't want my video to be too long. So this is a overview of how we listen to music in the house. So. Throughout the years, of course, everybody had the big stereo systems. You may have had a radio sitting in your kitchen or something, but with the new times, and I know I'm probably out of date, and that's why we're creating this video. <clears throat> but what we do is we utilize Echo. So you can see right here, we have an Echo Show in the kitchen. And the reason being is the Echo Show has really nice speakers. And so, uh, what you may not know is if you buy music on Amazon, Amazon knows what you have in your library. For example, if I told um, my Echo to play, let's let's try something. Alexa, play ABBA. Shuffling your songs by ABBA on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. So you can see what it says is that it went into my library and played the music I bought. So I can listen to albums uh, just like I would listen to an LP or a CD. If I want to listen to our radio station like Good Talk Radio, you just have to go to any main outlet like uh, TuneIn and ask to play your radio station. So whatever, mine's called Good Talk Radio, so I'll say, Alexa, play Good Talk Radio. Good Talk Radio Station from Robert's TuneIn. Alexa, stop. <clears throat> so that's basically how we listen to music uh, in the house. And it has nice speakers, sounds really good. It's not like the big systems we used to have when we were older. Now I have an Alexa or an Echo in every room. I use the uh, Echo Dots. And, uh, mm. I don't know that. <laughs> and uh, one of the other things we do is, uh, you guys know we have a swimming pool, and it's kind of nice to be able to play music outside. So just to show you real quick, just going outside, up on top of our sauna, we have a speaker here, and uh, it, uh, it's just a rechargeable, and it's tied into one of our echoes, and so um, I can control my echo from outside by using an Echo um, remote. So I have a remote right here. And so I can talk to my uh, 
echo from outside and play any music I want while the family's outside enjoying the pool or having a hamburgers or whatever we're doing. Uh, one of the other things I'll use once in a while is our television. We have a smart television and since Good Talk Radio <clears throat> is web-based too, I can actually pull up the website Good Talk Radio and listen to music from our station that way if we want to. So that's how we handle our house music. So it'll be interesting uh, to hear your guys' feedback. Of what do you guys do? Okay, we're back. And for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Ranger Rob or Rob Scribner from Robin Sherry. And uh, the dog right here is Cinder. This is our chocolate lab. And uh, uh, so <laughs> just to let you know who this little pup is. The discussion today is uh, learning how we all listen to music, podcasts, radios uh, in today's generation, let's say. So my next little clip I'm going to do is show you how um, I listen to, if I don't use our Echo, um, I'm going to show you really quick some of the things I do on my cell phone. Uh, so let's get started on that. So I'm going to show you really quick some of the things I do on my cell phone. Whether it's right or wrong, that's not the point. Everybody's doing this stuff different. So what I'd like to see um, is you guys uh, leaving comments showing how do you listen to music? How do you listen to, what do you do when you go jogging or go to the park and you want to hear music? Uh, do you use your cell phone? Are you using a MP3 player? Let us know. But let me uh, show you really quick what I do with my cell phone. So here's my cell phone and what I do, for example, to listen to a radio station, I use a, a application called Live 365. The reason I use Live 365 is most internet radio stations have to be licensed. And so we do that through a application called Live 365. Live 365, um, let me tilt my camera down a little more, is a um, <clears throat> covers all kinds of road, uh, different kinds of radio stations as you can see that you can listen to. Uh, once you search up or go into your favorites and do a search, you can pull up the radio stations you like. So this is where Good Talk Radio is. Turn it. So uh, just to keep myself out of trouble with copyright stuff, we're not going to play the music. But this is how I listen to Good Talk Radio and any other radio stations I like to listen to. Uh, I also listen, you know, I like smooth jazz at nighttime if I'm trying to sleep or something like that. I can easily do that. There's other applications like Spotify, Spreaker, all kinds of stuff like that. So for listening to podcasts, I like to use an application called Podcast Addict. Immediately, Podcast Addict will show me the shows that I like to listen to. So, for example, if you like listening to Good Talk, um, RV Talk Radio, it's right here. And when you press that, all the latest episodes will show up and you can play them right on your cell, um, cell phone. Uh, along with any other podcast you may like to listen to, I like to listen to Ch Chad uh, Panther and some other kinds of shows. Our other shows like uh, Arizona Talk Radio, um, Paradigm Chimes, they're all, all on uh, uh, TuneIn and, and iTunes. And so all you have to do is find a podcast playing software and search for those particular podcasts and you can find them. So that's how um, I listen to, say, a podcast when I'm outside and uh, playing with Cinder in the pool. Uh, I'll use my cell phone. Um, and occasionally I'll use our smart TV so I hope that helps people oh and by the way the other thing I'll do is I can the newer cars and vehicles out there uh, you can t uh, plug your cell phone right into your radio auxiliary and you can actually listen to podcasts um, in your car through your cell phone but there's other ways to do it and that's what we want to hear what you guys do so so there you go that's how I listen to podcasts 
or internet radio stations using my uh, cell phone. And uh, I know there's other ways to do it. And um, people are very clever. And I know like in the parks, I think uh, some people use an MP3 players of different types. Um, some people have some devices you could buy that actually just plays uh, internet radio shows and podcasts. And I'd be really curious to hear what you guys do. And uh, so in the description below, share with us the processes you uh, use to w listen to music. How do you listen to podcasts? How do you listen to internet radio stations? Do you still play good old fashioned AM FM radio stations? Or are you getting tired of the want, want, want and the commercials and all that stuff? Plus, you know, if you, I've noticed if you go to a radio station, say it's class, they say they're classic rock, but they never seem to play songs you really like. And uh, so that's why I get kind of frustrated when you're traveling, though. Uh, if you're depending on the internet to play an internet radio station or a podcast, unless you've downloaded it, um, they'll go in and out as you're traveling, especially like from here to Vegas. We've got all these deserts that really the internet connections are terrible. So what do you do? So I hope this has been a fun video. I uh, want to really hear your feedback. So tell us, how do you listen to music? How do you listen to podcasts and how do you listen to internet radio? And do you still listen to AM FM radio stations? So thanks for sharing with us. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.